and welcome on our STM32 Cube IDE Basics training session. In this section, we will focus on the library's repository management. I would like to demonstrate to you how to configure properly and manage libraries which you are using during work with STM32 Cube IDE. Let's start STM32 Cube IDE. I would select one of uh, already existing workspaces, which would contain at least one active project. Now on the screen we can see uh, the workspace with three projects. One of those is active, this is G0 underscore PWM. So let's start first uh, with the configuration of repository location and uh, internet connection. So to do this, uh, let's go to Window, Preferences, STM32 Cube. And from this uh, set of uh, settings, uh, let's select firmware update. Within firmware updater, we can select the firmware installation repository. So this is the location of all CoolCube libraries which you are using during your development. By default, uh, after the installation of this STM32 Cube IDE, there is a quite long path selected, so I would suggest to, to, to select it according to your needs, to your preferences later on. Within this window you can select as well the connection mode. Offline mode means that uh, your application will not connect uh, to the internet all the time, so it, it can work offline. Then uh, checked automatic settings, I would suggest to select the manual check, just to avoid any, any delay during the startup of the application, and uh, select no auto refresh at application start just to save some time during startup of co complete application you can check as well whether uh, there is a proper connection of your uh, application to the servers to grab data so we just can just press check connection and if everything is okay you should see this uh, okay icon on the button in case uh, there is a uh, X button, uh, X mark, it means that there is something wrong uh, with the connection. Please have a look into these network connections and configure properly uh, your proxy entries, if any. Proxy settings uh, you can collect from your IT department. One important point within this uh, firmware updater settings is that you can perform the firmware installation repository configuration only in the case if there is no active device configuration project. In fact, device configuration file. So, for example, if I would open the IOC file for this project, and I will go to Window Preferences, you see, Firmware installation repository is inaccessible right now and there is a warning that we should close IOC editor. Okay, so I close it. I come back to this again and now I can edit. Now let's have a look on the repository uh, management. How we can add, how we can remove libraries, how we can update them. To do this, uh, we need to go to help and select Manage Embedded Software Packages. As you can see at the moment, it is inaccessible for us, which means that we need to open any of the IOC files to make our device configuration or STM32 CubeMX application running. Okay, so now we see some IOC file opened. Now, if we go to Help, we can see Manage Embedded Software Packages active. Okay, I select this option. And now uh, I can see the new window, which contains uh, two tabs, STM32 Cube MCU packages, which is related to the Cube libraries for all STM32 devices. And there is another tab, STMicroelectronics, which contains some additional packages related to additional components coming from ST, like uh, BLE uh, sensors, uh, MEMS sensors, NFC uh, components. Uh, so those are the software packages which allows uh, communication, which allows cooperation between STM32 devices and uh, some additional uh, components. We will focus on STM32 Cube MCU packages and let's go to the G0 section 
I will just unscroll it. I can see at the moment, uh, if I sc will scroll down, I can see that uh, within stm 32 g 0 there are three libraries available. Version 1.00, then 1.1.0 and 1.2.0. The most up-to-date one is 1.2.0 and uh, this one is already installed in my repository. This is visible by this uh, green uh, s uh, square over here. Uh, I can download uh, uh, another one. I just press uh, within the another square. Uh, this uh, marking means that this library has been selected and can be installed now. To install this library, I, c I need to go below and press this Install Now button. To remove the library, I need to mark it first. It will uh, have this red X on it. And then I need to press Remove Now. OK. Uh, sometimes uh, it is not possible to perform the installation of the library online. Uh, this is why it is possible as well to install the libraries offline using uh, already downloaded zip files. All of the libraries are stored uh, on ST servers as a zip files. Those can be downloaded separately uh, from the web. And then once you've got such a zip file, you can install it from this uh, from this point using this from local option in this case you are just selecting the location of this zip file press open and it will be installed uh, automatically we can check as well the available updates on existing libraries um, on the tool itself to do this we need to go to help check for updates in my case there is one update available i can check by using this refresh, whether there is something new coming. There is no other update, so I can decide to install it, just selecting this and press Install Now, or ignore it. I would select the second option, I will not use this uh, library for a while. This help check for updates is important if you select that with a new repository configuration, manual check for updates, because it allows you to check whether there is something new, something more updated uh, within the tools uh, you're using in the time which is most uh, suitable for you. Thank you for watching this video.